Hello and welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Pokemon Pearl. In the last part we started exploring this forest with some random woman that we've never met, but she has green hair, I'm sure she's nice. And that base, okay, that base is insane. I know I mentioned it in the last part, but it's crazy. It's crazy that part, it's crazy. So yeah, as before, we're still, we haven't quite got out of here, so we've still got to fight some double battles. And these are both Psychic, so they both use Psychic Pokemon, even though Psyduck, Psyduck is clearly a duck, and ducks aren't Psychic, but I'm not sure if they're actually part Psychic in this generation, but they probably are. I always thought of them as just Water type that could learn Psychic moves, but I guess they could be also, you know, psych Water and Psychic. Now we got med t t t t t as well, which is cool. And Plug Switch can finally learn an electric move. It's been a long time coming, but Plug Switch, an electric Pokemon, can finally use an electric move. I don't know why this didn't happen before it evolved and turned to level 18, but whatever. I mean, it's fine. It's cool. I don't really mind. So yeah, that's that done. We beat this guy and his girlfriend or something, I don't know. This is a Japanese game, so obviously a man and a woman has to be going out. So I decided to check over here and then realised there was nothing going on. So I went over here. True story. So yeah, it, this forest is very cool. I think I mentioned this in the part, last part. I really enjoyed going through this forest. It's very similar to Feridian Forest. Only this time it's um, double battles, so Cheryl has to go. Thank you so much, Tom. It's okay. We're cool. We're cool. Cheryl's cool. There is a place that you can use cut there, so I'd recommend going back there and checking it out, because I, I haven't. I won't lie to you, I have not gone back there to see what was going on. And always, as in every single Pokemon game, we have to fight some fishermen. I don't know why they're not fishing, I don't know why they have to fight us, but we have to destroy their old deans. Yeah, I'm very sorry that the left screen is partly cut out, but I, d I have sorted the problem, so it won't go on for much longer. And I'm very surprised, surprised, surprised that Plug Switch has evolved that soon. It just evolved in the um, spark, didn't it? So. Oh well, with that in mind I decided to switch out hot first because I know I'll be fighting water Pokemon but I didn't think I'll have that much trouble, especially against Magikarp. Magikarp does look delicious though, I know I said this in an older part but, oh come on, who wouldn't want a grilled ma Magikarp? You put that on the old grill, you leave that for a few minutes, that's like golden brown, texture like sun, so I don't know why anyone wouldn't want to eat it. So yeah, pretty much this trainer is just here because, like, just to gain some experience. I think in a lot of po- I'm sure this is a throwback to the first generation, having all these magic cards. I mean, I don't actually know, I can't say for certain, but it does seem like it is. Because I know there's been trainers in the f there was a trainer in the first generation, which had very low level magic card, so it made for easy experience. Even though you don't actually get that much experience from Magikarp, so just keep that in mind. So yeah, just to let you know, in Honest Tom 23 HQ is currently half one in the morning. Just got back from being out, and I thought I might as well record some Pokemon Pearl because, um, yeah, as you know, this is part. What part is this? Part nine. That's fantastic news. So uh, this will be out less than a week away, so that's pretty cool. How are you guys enjoying the Pokemon Pearl LP, by the way? This is an LP that you guys voted in, so um, while I'm bored watching this terrible battle, let me know. Let me know if you um, think it's going well, or if you think it's going not as good as you thought it would. Honestly, I don't mind criticism as long as it's constructive, so... But anyway, we just defeated Andrew. And that's that fisherman done. You really don't have to fight any of these people. Fishermen are one of those rare sort of breed of trainers where they won't look at you and say, Hey you, let's battle because I want to 
have my Pokemon defeated and faint and I have to waste my time going to the Poker Center. No, the fishermen just enjoy what they're doing and for some reason, because you prod them in the back, they want to battle you with their terrible magic up. Or Goldie. They're just I don't really like the Goldie model in this game, I don't know. I think em empathizing em empathizing that's not a word. <laughs> But you're focusing on the lips and the horn, it really doesn't work. Like in the older generations, it would kind of have its tail up, and I think it looked a lot better that way. I'm just saying, I don't think the Golden model is that great. But I mean, they had to ref refise it and refise it and make it look good, so. I don't blame them, really. At this point, there was a lot of Pokemon, so. So yeah, at this point I sent out a plug switch. I probably could have sent out Zachary. Zachary isn't spelled with a second A. It's spelled with an E. I know someone called Zachary, and he's oh whatever. So yeah, we're on Internal City, and first of all we're gonna heal. And sorry for that weird cut, but without going into detail, I had some weird editing problems. So that was the best I could do. So yeah, Team Plasma has gone... Team Plasma... <laughs> God, I've been playing too much Pokemon Y. Team Galactic has taken over this town. But, obviously, because you're a bad man. Look at that cap. And look at that belly. Of course you're a bad man. I know I mentioned this in the earlier parts, but look how far that belly goes out. If I had a hat and my stomach went out half as much as my hat did, I would have some serious questions to have about myself. I'd be like, what am I eating? What's going wrong? Anyway, this is pretty much the woman that, I think this is the first appearance of her, but she will show up later on. So she's gonna, she shows up later on to give you helpful advice about where you want to go and about defeating Team Galactic, so yeah, that's the first time we see her. So, that's where we're going to go into the herb shop. This is um something that was introduced in the second generation. Healing items that your Pokemon don't like. So your Pokemon will dislike you if you're using these healing items, but they're a lot cheaper. I wouldn't recommend using them. There's really no need for it. And I have no idea what that Pokemon is. And I have no idea what power is. So, that's weird. Uh, I'm a bit lost at this point, I'm just exploring the city. Okay, here's the thing, bro. That guy says stay away from that Pokemon statue. So that's why I thought I'll go talk to the Pokemon statue, and maybe there'll be something going on there. Nope, there is nothing going on with that Pokemon statue, and I'm not even lying. Like, you actually don't have to do anything with that Pokemon statue at all, even though they tell you to stay away from it. So yeah, now that I have three Pokemon, one of them needs to know Cut, like every one, every Pokemon does at this point in the game. Cut's always an early HM, so... So then I thought I'd make Hot Fuss learn it, although I actually can't use it at this point in time. What I have to do is defeat the gym leader here, so... That's what I'm going to do. Or I'm apparently going to go into a bike shop. Get out of that bike shop. What are you doing? There's no bikeman there. Get out of that bike shop. Yeah, we have to go in. We'll see the bike shop guy later, but at this point he's not there. And this city is quite straight. As in, there's really not... It's not a square city. It's more of a rectangle. I mean, shapes are fun, so... Yeah, here's this guy. Apparently, I think um, the fifth generation is the only time that this guy gets a name. Um, that's according to my brother, so Sniper... Sniper X1011. That guy. Yeah, so that's um, that's the gym leader right there. Which is kind of weird that, he kinda sh that she shows up. She's pretty much just there to explain the gimmick of this gym. Which is, as you can see, there's a lot of trees about, so you kind of have to find the trainers. And you can only find them in a certain order. Like, you'll only meet a certain trainer at a certain time. You won't be able to find all the trainers at the same time. 
So yeah, first of all we gotta find the first trainer, obviously. Pretty much all the way to do this is that you can see them kind of behind the tree. Although my strategy at the time was to just explore every single square inch until I hit an obstacle. So yeah, that's why the cut's there. The cut's there because I couldn't find this trainer. Apparently there's a gap right there. And I didn't see the gap, and then I didn't see the trainer. But eventually I did find it and I found this um, trainer. So yeah, this is a grass gym, so I sent out a hot fuzz to use peck. Because flying moves is super effective against grass. And unfortunately for me, I wanted to level up Squirm, and also Peck is a terrible move. So I decided just send out Squirm and use Rock Tomb, which is also a terrible attack. Really, it was a bad idea me sending out Squirm. Like, <laughs> oh god, I'm going to explain this a lot more in the last part, but I left in the comment set comment. Comet? Come uh, section of one of the last parts that I pay for choosing to use Onyx. This is the gym I pay for. So yeah. Having a choosing a rock Pokemon when I've already chosen a water Pokemon is a terrible idea. I had nothing strong against this gym. As you probably should already know grass type is weak against fire or flying so either I pick I should have picked Chimcha or I should have got a Starly I didn't do either and instead I picked the water type and then I got a ground and rock type so basically I'm screwed yeah although honestly against the trainers the trainers are always a lot weaker than like the other like the actual gym leader so Really, against the trains, I had no trouble. The main trouble was actually finding them. That was surprisingly difficult. The main advice I can give for finding the train is that just explore everywhere and remember that what I did was that I couldn't. I didn't realise you could go to the left side of the gym. I didn't see that there was, wasn't a tree there. It's quite crafty, actually. I've got to give them that. They really outsmarted me there. So yeah, as you can see, in this part I have fixed the problem with the screen, so you can now see the full name of the Pokemon. I'm really sorry about that, by the way. I was hoping that this LP wouldn't have any technical difficulties or anything like that, but yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, this part is sped up because it's boring. Because yeah, actually finding the trainers is kind of boring. And also something that's quite interesting is that they don't have a large range of Pokemon in the grass gym. I mean, I know this is only the second gym, but I mean, if I remember correctly, the second gym in the first generation had Shelder, Staryu, Starmeen, and Horsey. And I think maybe maybe another one that I'm forgetting, but ready for grass Pokemon? Basically, any Pokemon that you see in this gym is the only sort of grass Pokemon you can catch in the entire game. I'm not even lying. I wish I was lying, but grass Pokemon are extremely rare in this game. So that's why there's not a large range of grass Pokemon that you can catch. So yeah, I probably should have gone and healed Hot Fuzz or healed before this battle, but. Either way, Hot Fuzz won and defeated that trainer. So yeah, that's the. I think that's the last trainer done. So in the next part, we're going to take on the gym leader and hopefully get our second gym badge. So um, this has been Honest Tom Twenty Three, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.